welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday, so it is meal plan and grocery haul day. This week, my meal plan has a few new things and a few old favorites. This weekend is Adam's birthday, so he asked for burgers on the grill for his birthday, so that's what we'll be having tomorrow night. And I let them actually pick a couple days worth of meals. So tonight we're having his favorite, favorite chicken divan. And Sunday we're having, no, Sunday? No, Monday we're having something he asked for also. So yeah, I spoil them a little bit. Same with lunches and breakfast. So kind of what they ask for they get on their birthdays and the days surrounding them. Uh, grocery haul this week was just Aldi. Spent way more than I intended. I bought too much junk for the kids. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping not to have to go next week. Um, but I always have to get produce because we just fly through the fruit and veggies around here. Which is a good thing. I'm not complaining. I love that they grab for fruit. I bought, um, apples. You'll see them. Something, it, I think I forget what they're called now. But I do talk about it in the grocery haul. And being allergic to apples, I can't eat them, so I don't know what they taste like, but Doug and Adam already both had one and said how delicious they are. So yeah, win for the mom. So without further ado, let's get you turned around. Let's look at this menu and we will go right into the grocery haul. Okay, this week for breakfast. Sunday, we probably will not have breakfast. Sunday is the first day that our church is opened up again. And Doug, the boys, and I are on the, they're calling it the usher committee. We're just going to instruct people in the new ways of mass for the next, I don't know how long, several months at least, um, about where they have to sit and how they have to go up to communion and how they have to exit the church and all that. So we need to be at mass 45 minutes before it starts. And we'll need to be there about a half hour after it ends. We're not gonna have time to have breakfast, I know us. So we're just gonna have a lunch when we get home. Monday and Tuesday, I'm gonna make some egg bites on Sunday for Monday and Tuesday's breakfast. Doug asked for those. And I'll just serve some sausage or Canadian bacon or something with that. Wednesday, French toast in a mug. Thursday, crock pot apple oatmeal. And I forgot to put the points for this. It's on my website. That's one of Adam's favorites. Friday, pancakes of some sort. Maybe cake batter, maybe chocolate chip, maybe blueberry. See what I'm in the mood for on Friday. Saturday, omelets and bacon as usual. Lunch is this week. On Sunday, buffalo chicken egg rolls. And probably something else to go with it since we're not eating breakfast. I'm just not sure. Sunday's always a free for all around here. Monday, a chef salad, and the points will vary on that depending on what I decide to put in it. Tuesday, grilled cheese with veggies and fruit. Wednesday, a picky plate of some sort. Once again, depending on what I decide to put on there, points vary. Usually it's three or less. Thursday, egg salad on a bagel. Friday, a tuna sandwich with chips. And Saturday will be a clean out the fridge picky plate. For dinners this week, on Sunday, we're gonna have chicken Parmesan pasta. It is a great one point meal. And I just realized I forgot to put the points for purple and green. Okay, well, it'll definitely be on the website. Purple will be a lot less than blue if you use whole wheat pasta. Green will be eight plus probably two for the chicken. So green will be 10 points. Purple will probably be three points. Like I said, it will be on the website. Monday, shrimp tacos with Mexican rice on the side. And the shrimp tacos are actually zero points, but I accounted for two of the tortillas in there. Tuesday, this is a new dish, so I do not have it pointed out yet. It's creamy, cheesy chicken. I have to play with that recipe a little bit and get it in the recipe builder. Wednesday, crock pot, kobasi, green beans, and potatoes. And when I make this, I weigh out each component separately. I weigh out the potatoes, I weigh out the kielbasa, and of course the green beans are zero. But that's how I like to point that. I think it's the most accurate. 
Thursday, Big Mac Sloppy Joes. That's a holdover from this week. We never ended up having them. Friday, barbecue bacon stuffed pork chops. And Saturday, homemade pizza. Not sure what kind yet. All depends what everybody's in the mood for. If we're going to have like a white pizza or buffalo chicken pizza, barbecue chicken pizza, regular pizza, taco pizza. Who knows? Whatever we decide. And as always, my exercise is hit training and running and some sort of combination thereof. So there is the menu for the week. As always, you can print out blank copies of my menu planner right off my website. Go to jonespointatplate.com, click on free printables, and there's a whole bunch of stuff there for you. And while you're on the website, on the homepage, sign up for my email list. I'm still trying to make it all work. I don't know why some people get them and some don't. I'm starting to wonder if it's like a Gmail issue, but I don't know. Anyway, sign up, we'll give it a try. I send out my menu and a little weekly newsletter every Saturday morning. So you can get all these recipes and all my past menus right on the website. This week's menu and recipes will be up by noon on Saturday. Sometimes it's up earlier, but not usually. So there you have it. Let's get right into that grocery haul. Okay, here is our Aldi haul. We'll start with all the produce. We got some celery, because we were completely out. Some radishes, these are for the little carrot and radish slaw for the shrimp tacos. Romaine lettuce, some grape tomatoes, mushrooms, strawberries were still 99 cents, so I got two of those. And then I got these apples, Wild Twist, two favorites, one great apple. I have no idea what they taste like, and I won't know since I don't can't eat apples. Um, but I thought the guys would like them. I got a watermelon, some purple grapes, a bag of lemons, some bananas, and that is it for produce. For meat, I picked up some salmon, some kibasi for the kibasi and potato and green bean bake and some deli turkey until I can get to the deli to get a bunch of meat for the week and also two bags of frozen shrimp for the shrimp tacos three cans of solid white tuna in water that's it for that kind of stuff picked up some frozen veggies. I need two bags of the broccoli florets for dinner tonight for the chicken divan. So I grabbed an extra one, some California medley and some corn to keep in the freezer, jar of pickles, some cottage cheese for the egg bites, some eggs, 1% milk, these little singles of guacamole. The boys like to put avocado or guacamole on their sandwiches and avocados always go bad in our house. So I figured that was a good thing to get. A couple things of beef broth, cause I was completely out. Cans of green beans. These are for the crock pot, kielbasa, green bean and potatoes. Maple syrup. Then we got some brioche buns for burger night tomorrow night for Adam's birthday. I will probably use a 2.647 bun. Um, but I got these for the rest of them. Some bagels, some whole grain white bread. Adam's sausage he likes, two boxes of that. And then comes the snacks for the boys. Got two bags of pretzels. I got some of the cheese dip and cracker sticks. They had these at Aldi, these are five points. Frozen root beer and vanilla ice cream float. They look really good. And I don't think five points is bad for a nice treat. Got them some candy cakes, some mini, mini peanut butter sandwiches, some taquitos, some French toast sticks, little mini brownies, and some chips. And I did go down the aisle of shame because I knew that they were supposed to have these. It is the bunting, um, like for 4th of July and stuff. We have, we always hang this on our porch. And the ones we have are just really beat and faded, so I thought I'd pick up two new ones for our porch. 
And that is my Aldi haul. It was $132. I'm really hoping I can avoid shopping next week because I really didn't want to spend this much this week. So we will see. So there is Aldi and that's the only place I went. There you have it, my friends. That is what we are eating for breakfast, for lunch, and for dinner next week. And they are the groceries that I bought to go with it. So let me know in the comments below if you guys are having anything absolutely delicious. If you have any new recipes to share, I would love those also because I'm always on the hunt for some new recipes. And that's about it. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what's going on in your life. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love you to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And if you know anyone that could benefit from my channel or my videos, please feel free to share this video with them. I am out and I will see you over the weekend for a full day of eating day in the life, probably tomorrow on Adam's birthday. I'll show you all the things that he has asked for for his birthday. Um, I also want to show you the hutch that we bought last weekend. It is all painted and stained and I love it. And now I can't wait to do the kitchen table and chairs. So that's the next project up, hopefully within the next few days. I'm a little nervous about it, but we'll see. We're trying to get our hands on a paint sprayer because I think that will be much easier to do the chairs than trying to paint them with a brush because they're all spindly, see? So we'll see. But anyway, I will be back tomorrow with that and that's it for me. Have a fantastic day. Remember, whatever you eat while you're losing the weight, you need to do for the rest of your life to maintain that loss. So make sure you are eating what you love and loving what you eat because you're gonna be stuck with it. Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you all very soon.